Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Michaela, and I'm so glad you're here. So today I have my empties from about two and a half weeks. Um, our school did start back up a couple weeks ago and so I have been subbing and so I was planning on recording this a little bit sooner but with the long three day weekend and then me working, I just haven't had the opportunity. So there is quite a bit here. I do like doing it more every two weeks because then I feel like I have a little bit more to show you and I'm not really wanting to go through my empties so much because I'm kind of in this weird phase. I'm trying to decide if I pull a basket, if I want to finish everything up or if I'm going to, you know, kind of put things back. So a lot of these empties were things I was really trying to finish up and kind of get through before the end of summer. I mean, let's get real. I live in Texas. It's hot all around here. So I just pretend in my air conditioned house that uh, it's a little bit cooler outside than what it really is. So um, we're going to start off with kind of the one ofs that I melted and then we'll slowly go through everything that I went through. So this is one of the testers from Sensi. Um, Catherine King sent me a package and this was in it. So this is really kind of a little spicy to me and I don't love spice. And it was kind of hard to get the true scent because I, the only place that I really have a single warmer is in my bathroom. Well, I have a big, huge hot plate in there and so it didn't even fully fill the bottom but it was a really nice scent. If you like kind of more of a spicy fall scent, definitely fall. Um, but so yes, so if you like those kind of spicy scents, you'll probably really like this one. I just don't tend to like those. I tend to like more of the like cinnamon sugar bakery scents. So this one is called First Day of Fall. I don't have the scent notes. Um, the next single one that I have is from Made to Melt. And this is her coconut bars that she's testing. So this one is in strawberry. Again, the only place that I really have that I could melt this was in my bathroom. This was a really nice scent. Um, I would say it was about a medium throw in my bathroom. It wasn't crazy strong, but I did really enjoy the scent. It was a very pretty strawberry. Um, I did one from Vintage Chic and Sally's a Strawberry Pound Cake Bakery. Um, just like walking into a bakery filled with sugar cookies and strawberry pound cake. Um, this was, it was a shape, I think. I don't think it was a souffle. I think it was a shape. It was really good. It was a really nice bakery. I really enjoyed it. I mixed it in my main area with another strawberry pound bakery scent, but this was really good. I know a lot of people say they don't get very good throw from vintage cheek. And there are scents for me that are hit or miss, but I noticed that the longer I let it set, the better it does. And so this was from December of 21. So I don't tend to melt my vintage chic scents right away. I tend to let them set quite a while. Um, this was a custom that I did from Kay's. So strawberry pound cake, blackberry jam butter cookies, and marshmallow fireside. I don't know if it's my downstairs with my open ceilings or what, but um, I really didn't get much from this at all, which was sad because these are all some of my favorite scents. And I know so many people love K's. I mean, this is a year old. So those of you that love K's, does it like lose scent after a year? I don't know. I just really didn't get much scent from this, which I was sad about. Um, this one is from Super Tarts. It's R. Um, this is a band bag. So this is Black Sea, Avocado, Sea Salt, and Nectarine. This was nice. I enjoyed it. It's not one of my favorite scents. So in the future, I'd probably just get two clamshells of it. That way I can use it up just in one time and enjoy it every so often. And then I have one from Hayden Rowe in Fizzy Pop. This was also a loaf. I enjoyed her Fizzy Pop. I don't tend to buy from her that much because her scents to me are really more like the fresh and masculine and laundry scents. Um, I don't prefer her bakery scents. There's just something about them that I don't know what it is, but I just don't love them. And so I did like her fizzy pop, but I think that L3 has just as good of a fizzy pop and I order more often from L3. Okay, so the next is ones that I've smelled a couple of. 
So we have a Destination Wax Meyer Lemon Salsa, which is Sweet Meyer Lemon Pineapple Kiwi Fruit and Tropical Melon. I really did enjoy this. This was a really good scent, but I find for me Destination Wax is kind of a medium thrower. I think that they have great scents and especially some great complex scents, but it just kind of is a medium throw to me. This one I did in my bedroom bathroom, which does not have extremely tall ceilings, and I really did enjoy it. And then I also did Pink Raspberry Lilac from Destination Wax. Again, I really enjoyed this one. A beautiful blend of lilacs, pink sugar blender, and raspberries. Um, so this was very pretty. Again, I just did it in my bedroom bathroom, but I really did like this. If I made an order, again, from Destination Wax, yes, I would probably pick this one up. But I'm trying to really kind of limit who I'm purchasing from right now. Um, we have a couple from Rose Girls. So we have Alice and Kokomo, which is like, um, I think it's like a cantaloupe honeydew melon type blend. This was good. I've had this a couple times. It does perform pretty well. I'm just kind of tired of this set right now, and so I don't really plan on getting it again. It's not really one of my favorite scents, and so maybe I'll get it again someday, but not anytime soon. Um, and then I had Lavender Chamomile. This was a nice scent, but I'm trying to work through a lot of my lavender blends because I have definitely discovered I prefer mint blends at night more so than lavender. I like lavender every once in a while, and I like specific lavenders, but that's not my preference. I have two from Southbound. So this one is lemon ice cream cookies. So lemon shortbread cookies and vanilla bean ice cream. They're both fairly old. I got them in a D stash last year. Um, and then I did wild berry cake batter, which is wild berry mousse and creamy vanilla cake batter. Uh, I really didn't get much scent from either one of these. They are from 2020. And so maybe that's why I am not sure. Let me know how long do you feel like your southbound lasts because I've had some southbound scents that have been amazing and some of my favorites. So were those just too old? I don't know. And I also know that air conditioning affects certain vendors different ways. And so maybe it's my air conditioning right now and maybe it performs better in the winter. Okay, we have a few from Teddy Bees. So this one is actually going right now. It's blueberry lemon cheesecake, which is creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla buttercream, lemon zest, and sugar cookies. Um, the blueberry and lemon isn't very strong on this. I'm mostly getting the cheesecake cookies. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know what I would think of it yet. It's not super strong, but it's been in for a couple hours, and so it's probably died down a little bit by now. I don't love blueberry scents. And so maybe there's just enough blueberry in it that is kind of like, uh, I don't know. There's very few blueberry scents that I like because most of them just don't smell good. I don't know. Um, this one's Soray, which is a boardwalk marshmallow, birthday cake and sweet raspberry jam. I really like this one. This one's a very pretty scent. I do have a loaf in this one and I am finding that I really, really enjoyed Hetty Bee's raspberry jam scents. And then I did Nude Beach, which is Cream de Boom Boom Cashmere Cream and Beach Nights. This one was very pretty too. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. I do like Boom Boom, but I feel like I bought too much of it right away. And I also feel like a lot of the times it overwhelms everything else it's blended with. But this one, because it was blended with Beach Nights and Cashmere Cream, which I feel like both are pretty strong scents on their own, I did really well and I really enjoyed this. I would pick this one up again, possibly for next summer. So next we have Sassy Girl Aroma. So we have a cookie jar, which is blackberry jam butter cookies, vanilla waffle cone, and cotton candy frosting. This didn't perform very well either in my main area. Um, so when I use one of the brittles, I use like this much in my main area, and then I generally have two rows left. So when I did this the next day in my bedroom, I could smell it a little bit better but it still just wasn't very strong. And I don't think it has anything to do with the age because I've had older Sassy Girl Aroma ones. So I don't know if it's just the way my house is acting right now because I've had a lot that just didn't perform well or if it was more just kind of this scent. Um, Death by Cereal. So Blueberry, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Crunch Berries, and Vanilla Bean Noel. 
This one's amazing. This one did so well. It was super strong. It was long lasting, great throw. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I would pick this one up again. And then pink stress relief. So cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel and raspberry jam, which I think is the pink sugar. Um, musk, lavender, sage, eucalyptus, and spearmint, fresh ozone and woods. So I actually really enjoyed this. I don't think that this is better for me personally than the, is it pink sleepy time? But I really did enjoy this. If I was making an order and she had it, I would probably pick it up again. Um, I wouldn't be one that I would have to request, but I did enjoy it. I did really well. It was super strong. I just melted this in my bedroom and bathroom at nights, so I don't know how we would perform out here. So closet full of wax. You guys know I've been trying to work through my closet full of wax. So this one is Fairy Dust and Twinkle Toes. These were like, um, I have no idea what she calls them, but they were like a blocked shaped. I pretty much got nothing from this. So I did put this in one morning before I left for work and I came home and there was no scent left, which is pretty typical of a lot of scents, right? So I had a couple of cubes left that I put in my bedroom and bathroom and I just, I got nothing from that, which surprised me because most of her scents have actually been very strong that I've been melting. Um, so this one is Cool Cats and Kittens. So Champagne Toast, Tangerine, Gelato, and Blackberry. This was pretty good. Um, it just kind of gave more of a fruity, fizzy type blend. It was good, I enjoyed it. Um, juice Ortiz, I don't know how to say that. So Lemonade, Marshmallow, Lavender, Splash of Pineapple, this was okay. I'm not really a huge fan of pineapple. And um, like I said, lavender, I can leave it or take it. Just depends on the blend. Lucky Charm Cookie Dough. So Lucky Marshmallow Charm Sugar Cookie Dough. This was really good. I enjoyed this one. Um, I do really like cereal scents. I'm finding, and especially when they're combined with a little bit of bakery, I just think they're delicious. Carol Baskin's Diary, Marshmallow Clouds, Pink Chiffon and Twisted Peppermint. This is pretty good. The peppermint wasn't very strong in this. It wasn't like a nose clearing peppermint. To me, it smelled just more pretty. And then Murder for Hire. So Blackberry Barbershop and Palo Santo. This was very, very, very strong. So my husband, he's getting better about not complaining about different scents that I melt, but he came in and he's like, what have you put in here? So I enjoyed it. I really did like it. Um, it definitely gave the blackberry kind of a masculine tone with the barbershop and the Palo Santo. It was really good. I enjoyed it. If I purchased from her again, I would purchase this, but I don't think that that's a vendor I'm going to purchase from right now. So the last is L3 and I got through quite a bit of L3. I've been trying to make a dent in my L3 stash, especially my scoops, but I didn't get through as many scoops as I should have. So the first is Cogsworth. Um, it doesn't have this, oh, the scent notes are Fig Rhubarb Pie Crust Vanilla Smoothie. And this was clear back from 2018. This is one of her older scoops. Um, you can see that I just got a little glistening, probably from the oils, but this still performed really, really well. I was super surprised. It was very strong. I had no issues. Um, I can't say that that's going to be true out of all the scoopables, but I really do think that scoopables, they last and they stay better a lot longer. Um, would I get this scent again? I'm not sure. I do like fig scents. I think I might almost try and request this more with kind of a bakery undertone with it. I mean, it does have that pie crust, but I think this would be really, really good with more of a rich bakery with it. Um, I'm not sure what, but. And then I did Swimming Pool, Bora Bora, Happy Island Papaya. This was okay. Um, when I first got into wax, I really got into the fall scents, which I think that there's, there's several of us that are really, really into fall scents. Um, and so, then I started trying out more summer scents. And so I got a lot of just different random blends, trying different fruits, trying different um, like the swimming pool oils and things like that. So I didn't hate this, but I've had so many scents similar to this. And I do still have a couple more swimming pool type blends from L3 that um, it's not something that I need right now. 
I did enjoy it. It wasn't bad, but I don't need it. Now this one was amazing. This one I had a really, really hard time using up, but we'd had several rainy days in a row and it was a rainy morning and I put it in and now I do need more of this. This is probably one I would request. So strawberry pound cake, beach nights and Palo Santo. Um, this was so delicious. I just absolutely love this one. And I mean, her beach nights probably isn't as good as like Sassy Girl Aroma and Teddy Bees, but it's good for what it is. And I love her Palo Santo and I love her strawberry pound cake. And this one is just so good. You get that strawberry pound cake, but then you get the beach nights and the Palo Santo. And I love this. And I would love more of this. So I don't know if you guys remember last year, she did the Harry Potter samplers. And so I did pick a couple of those up. So I've been trying to work through those. These don't have the set notes on them. So I'll do my best to remember what they were. I'm not sure. So... These were all in the owl shapes. This one is Grindelwald. So I do have two of them that I finished up. And I believe this is like a cream brulee and a vanilla. This was very nice. I enjoyed this. Um, it performed well, but it's not the type of scent that's like really a strong in your face scent. And so it seemed like a lighter throw, but it really wasn't. I don't know if that makes any sense. There's just some scents out there that they're just not inherently a strong scent, kind of like a vanilla. You know, you're not going to get that punch you in this face smell with vanilla like you do with something like a Beach Nights. But this was really good. I really enjoyed this. I would probably pick this up again if I was ordering, but I don't have to like go out and request it. Um, I did Luna, which I believe is like a lavender blend. This one was pretty. I enjoyed it. It was only a medium throw. I found that a lot of these owl shapes for some reason were just kind of medium. And I'm not sure why that is, but I did really enjoy it. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because I'm trying to stay away from, in general, most lavender scents. Um, Butterbeer, this one was really good. If you don't like sickly sweet, then this might be a little too sweet for you. I didn't really get much of a fizzy scent from this, but just a really nice caramely butterscotch type scent. Um, and for some people, it might be too much but my house smelled so good and it was another kind of rainy day. And so it just was the perfect scent for kind of a dark gloomy day. It's really good. This is one that I probably would pick up again. Um, Diagon Alley. So I have this in another, in another form and it's, it's like a graham cracker type scent. I believe I don't remember what's in it. I got almost no throw from these, but I know that I've used this before in a different form. It was not the owls and I got excellent throw. So I don't know again why I'm kind of having had a little bit of issues with the owls. I mean, some of them did well, but this one did not do well at all, which like I've said, I've had in a different form and it performed Ooh. amazing. Um, Gryffindor. So I actually had three of the Gryffindors and so I, to do my downstairs, I use like one and most of the next one. And so I saved them for more like um, winter time. This was such a good scent. And this does lean a little bit red hot, but it works. I don't remember what's in the scent notes of this one either, but this will be a perfect warming scent when it's cold outside. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I still have more of it, so I don't need more, but it's something that I would probably pick up again, not in large quantities, but just to have a little bit of. This one, I'm not sure how old this one was. This was sent to me. So this is blueberry sugar, brown sugar, pound cake. Um, the label fell off, so I just stuck it in the bag. It was one of the, the chunk pieces. Um, this was okay. It wasn't very strong. It was like a medium throw. And I don't really like blueberry sugar, I don't think. I think that's kind of what I've decided. So it was okay. I probably wouldn't get it again, but I do want more um, brown sugar pound cake buns. So I would get brown sugar pound cake. Um, 8675309, so Alabama Slammer Cocktails, Orange Juice, Amaretto, and Southern Comfort. So... These ones I bought two of because they kept on selling out super fast. These were the puppy packs. 
And so everyone at the time, I don't know if they still do, but everyone at the time just absolutely loved them. Um, I really didn't like it that much. It was okay. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate it. Like I had to take it out of the warmer. It just was like, oh, uh, it's okay. So I probably would not get that one again. It performed really, really well. Absolutely no issues. So I don't know. That's why I'm just kind of wondering why some of these owls didn't perform well. Because this one is older than the owls were. So um, this was a custom that I did. It's Muggle Strawberry Pound Cake. So Muggle is the Magical Lucky Charms, so Wild Berry Mousse and Lemon Curd. And then I did that with Strawberry Pound Cake. This was really nice. I really enjoyed this one. Um, it performed really well. I had no issues. Um, I would probably get this again if it had it. Um, I don't know if I would rush out and make another custom of it right away, but I did enjoy it. Lavender Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was a loaf. Um, this is probably one of the few lavender blends as of right now that I would repurchase. I really did enjoy this. I know most people either love or hate Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I really, really did like the lavender oil with that. I think it's just the bakery added just kind of this warmth and goodness. I don't know, but I did enjoy this. I would probably get more, not right away, but eventually. Um, summer cookie therapy. I love this one. So fresh picked strawberry sugar crystals cookie therapy. So there's summer cookie therapy that has the fresh picked strawberries. And then there's strawberry pound cake cookie therapy which even though they're two strawberry scents, they don't smell the same. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know which one's my favorite though. I like both of them. I would pick that one up again. Um, Cashmere Cedar, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, Pink Sugar, Herbal Lavender. Um, I would not get this one again. I just really didn't prefer it. I kind of had to force myself just to use it up and get it done. It was a loaf, um, yeah. So that's everything I got through. It was quite a bit. Um, I did just realize that I have stuff from upstairs, so I'll just show you that next time. I don't have much up there anyway. Um, I don't tend to change the wax up there very often. I do have wax warmers in two of my boys' rooms, but they kind of have control over it themselves, and so it's not something I personally change very often, and they don't tend to leave it on or change it very often themselves. So anyway, that's what I have for you. I hope that things are going well. I don't have any hauls coming up anytime soon. I did place the order with Teddy Bees. I know in my last video, I said that I was gonna try and do like a what's on the list video. I'm sorry that I didn't have time for that. If you guys are still interested in me doing that, I can think about doing that for maybe Set Secret Aroma or for um, Super Tarts when they do their list. I know that um, Drew put out a list as he was organizing, I'm sorry, a video as he was organizing his list. So hopefully that was helpful to some of you. But yeah, I really don't have anything else coming up. If there's any video specifically that you would like to see, um, I could do maybe some updated videos of some of my stash of the vendors that I have, but I don't think that I really have any orders coming anytime soon. But I will, when I do my Teddy Bees pre-order video, I will also go through some of the scents that were on the list that I already had in my collection and why maybe I chose not to order them again. Um, just that way it can be helpful for the ready to ship. So I hope that your day is going well. I hope your week is going well. I hope everyone is adjusting. If you have kids back in school or if you're back in school, it's been an adjustment here, but a good one. I've really been enjoying being back at work. You know, I'm gonna go on a little rant here, so if you wanna turn it off, it's okay. I know a lot of teachers are saying that they're leaving the profession because of the kids and because of the behavior of the kids, and and I see that all the time, and, and I know that each school is different, but I just have to say I love the kids that I have been working with. Um, there's definitely some kids that have challenges and have struggles, but in general, you know, kids do good when they can. And I have been so impressed by the kids that I have been working with and the kids that I've been subbing with. And I get such little short snippets into their lives being a sub, you know, I'm not there every day like their teachers are, but you know, there are some great kids out there and 
I know that teachers are burnt out. I know a lot of people are burnt out after COVID, but you know, maybe we need to be a little mindful about not blaming everything on the kids. So anyway, that's my rant. Um, I'm going to go before I get teary eyed because I'm a very emotional person, but, um, you know, let's, let's give our kids some grace. And if we feel like the world is harder because our kids are missing something, then what can we do to change it? What can we do to be the change rather than just complain? Anyway, if you stuck around for the rant, thank you. Um, I love all of you. I hope that your days and your lives are, are going the way that you hope that it will. And, and if not, there's always something better around the corner. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.